There we go. All right. <clears throat> Land of hallways and doors. Wait, is that a skeletal shoes? <clears throat> yeah. Can you open doors if, uh, there we go, if you're a skeleton? Just wait to see what happens here. No, they can't. Oh, that's the corpse I made, duh. I thought it was a skeletal one. Damn it, it's still happening. Okay, well, we've now... <clears throat> Engraving of a basilisk. It is not depicted alone. It is surrounded by hordes of undead. Cool. <clears throat> well, on to level three. So far, I've been doing pretty, pretty good here. I got a flame potion if I get thirsty. I got a healing potion if I get harmed. And I've got plenty of sentient corpses to eat. I'm actually, my misery is 10 out of 100. Is that, an, is that another nuke? Yep, it's another nuke. It's really graceless. It's a lumpy cat. It has four horrible appendages, and it's graceless in its movement. Let's draw it. It's a graceless cat with four horrible appendages. Okay, so let's, this is a, let's face it, this is going to be a sad cat. This is, this is not a happy place, right? Since it's so graceless, I'm just going to say, like, the poor thing has its limbs pointing the wrong way. <laughs> like, it has claws, but it can barely use them because they're pointed the wrong way. Like, meow, meow, oh god. <laughs> Why was God so cruel to me? <laughs> meow. <laughs> the fuck? Why would somebody make me? I can't even walk upside down. I have to roll. Floomp -a -floomp -a -floomp -a -floomp -a. <laughs> the painful bats were just black dots. No, I saw them. I saw a description of them and all they said is that they were vermin. And so the uh, painful bat There we go. It's it's like a crawling bat, right? It's just like... Because every creature in this game is definitely, fuck my life, the creature, right? <laughs> Whoa, didn't mean to do that. There's a nook, there's a painful bat. We have a teak and a skeletal teak. Are these names random, or are they picked out of a book? <laughs> All right, let's let's keep moving on. Whoa, I think that's another one of those. 
Oh, this is a weck. This creature looks miserable, as if its very being is sick. Wait, I didn't... Let me look back at that real quick. It doesn't have a whole lot of hit points, and I am like a powerhouse right now. So, it be dead. What are these? Uh, special Chaos Staff. Not my thing. What else? A Doom Rod. It is imbued with some kind... Imbued with a rune of some kind. Perhaps it can be identified. Let's pick it up and see if we can't identify the Doom Rod. The names are randomly generated as well, but Painful Bat means something. It's a bat. It can bite you because it's painful. Eh, that makes sense. Also, Poison Fairy is actually a fairy that is poisonous. It will poison you and act like a fairy and do fairy things. A Wex sounds like a tribal Indian. Doom Rod. Identify Rune. Let's see here. Difficulty 75. No matter how hard you try, you are unable to identify this. Well, drop that, some bitch. I'm not going to, to just use a rune. Hey, you know what? No. No. I can't. Special Chaos Staff. Identify this rune. Uh, hey, I do it. It's a rune of burn. Can I use that even if I don't have... No, I have to hold it. Well, no, that's that's from that's from the staff cuz my other thing doesn't have one. We're going to try and use that rune of burn on something real quick. Something sentient, which apparently I can kill but I can't eat without feeling bad. It's only cannibalism. Is it is it even cannibalism? It wasn't a human. Uh, okay, that door is picked. Let's keep on moving on. Nothing in here. There's tons of content. You don't have to hold it, you just put it in your... Okay, cool. Well, we're going to use that as soon as... Oh, hey, here we, here we go, here's our chance. We can use it on this Chuzul. Chuzul. Zul. Two times distance equal hunger. You decide against it. Oh, it has to be... Left click on target to cast spell. Alright. Mm, it is not in my range. It has to be right next to me. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Let's do this. I did not decide against it. I guess you have to use the cursor for this. Casters, you feel two energy drain away. That's it? That's not bad. Doesn't have any effect. Eh, stab it. Let's keep going down. Past the stone door. Past an engraved wooden door. I like the engraved doors. Let's take a look at that. It's an engraving of an emu-like creature here. The species name is also engraved. It's called a scratch. It is quite large, like an emu. So it's an emu. A scratch is an emu. Whoa, hell, scared me, Nook. Can you imagine a Nook, like how it moves? The definition of cannibalism is muddled. Well, I mean, is it really not okay to eat a dolphin? Like, does that count? Okay, I need to do... We're going back to the drawing board here. Because it just occurred to me how a nook sort of moves. Because it's graceless, right? So here's how a nook moves. <laughs> I bet elf is fucking delicious. You bet they are. They're good for no other thing. They're great when you cook them in grass. Okay, here's how I imagine, like, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. Here's how I imagine a, uh, a nook moves around.
That's right, it just rolls. Just flumpity, flumpity, flumpity. That's how it rolls. <laughs> that's that's it. That's how a nook rolls. <laughs> that's why it's so graceless. That's why it's so graceless. We know now. All, all of this has been answered. <laughs> okay, there's a pink thingy over here. I'd like to know what it is. It's an antidote flask. Get that shit. It throws itself a lot. No, man, it just rolls. Flump, 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 flump. Uh, let me take a look at this antidote flask. Uh, five. Heals all status effects. Likely magical. Does it have a rune on it? No. Let's see. We're going south down this long, hot-ass hallway. Oh my god. Ch Chizul, stop it. Just stop it, man. Is there anything I can throw at you? You know, I have this flame potion, but doesn't it have, like, a fire resistance? Yeah, they've got a one fire resistance. Not enough for my fiery dagger of doom. It's also unknown stuff. Well, as someone who doesn't have a whole lot of, uh... Experience with a lot of roguelikes. There we go. Zombie tools. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run away. Fuck. That one poisoned me for a little bit. Okay, there we go. What the? Whoa! What? That was creep. What are you? What are you? Teeks. How much do these health potions heal? Like, I have a healing potion. It doesn't say. It just heals. grab this flame potion now my question is yeah they're definitely moving revenge of the jewel four <laughs> let's let's throw one of these flame potions at this guy uh, throw four. Can I not? Okay, I messed up somewhere. Flame potion. Throw this guy. Boom! Holy shit! Oh my god, there's fire everywhere. Fuck! Um, did I do that? Oh, f oh, things are dying! Well, Zombie Teak is no longer burning. Apparently some burnination was happening. I did not intend for it to go this wrong. Uh, alright. Well, I was going to, like, drink that for some thirstiness. Oh my god, I just realized that I also am thirsty. I have a 19 thirst. That's bad. What's gonna happen if I drink this flame potion? Is that gonna be bad? Health potions also used to kill undead? That's pretty cool. So, so what happens if I drink this? Because it, it's also pretty good to drink, right? Um, your composure save. You feel burnt. Yeah, but I'm not thirsty anymore. So, I took four damage. Am I on fire? No. Good. Okay, so, whew, hot sauce. Fire potions are hot sauce. Got it. Time to uh, go for the healing potion now. 
I didn't know if that would that would do. You know, you gotta test these things. Okay, the healing potion just boom, fully healed, ready to roll. Done, son. What's this? Uh, heals all status effects. Another antidote. Let's grab that. Kill that knock. I th I think we're just gonna leave everything behind here. Oh, it's goddamn! It's one of these things. A teak. See, one of these guys, again. Uh, an obsidian statue. Let's take a look at the statue real quick. Uh, it's a statue of a fly. The species itself is engraved as a shant. Its eyes are depicted closed. It poses... It's, And its pose is one of uncaring, unnerving creature. It's so cool to watch this. Okay. Kick the statue. Kick it onto the jewel. The jewel has been struck down by the statue. Fuck yeah. Oh god. Uh, kick the stairs onto the jewel. Kick the stairs. I can't. Fuck. Quick. Towards this potion of antidote. Let's grab that. Ah. Let's throw it at the jewel. You throw the antidote flask. Well, that did fucking nothing. <laughs> the purple text is the purple text is not a good idea. Oh, I just realized there's a thing here. What is this? Burning armor of ethereals. What, don't I already have that? Two defense, three fire resistance. Two defense, three fire. Yeah, I already have this. I don't need another one. Unless, can I wear both of them? Let's grab that. And we are going to switch armors. No, I can only wear one. Okay, well, let's drop the old one. Because the old one's covered in, like, fire potion and hot sauce. One of these puffy creepies. Which I'm just going to leave that thing alone. What are you? What are you? What are you? What what are you? Arrows? No. Wait, what? There's nothing. It's nothing. They don't register as anything. They're not anything. There are, there are lots of them, but I can't look at them. Cuz there's nothing there. Is that a nook? What are you stuck behind there, Nook? What is this? Nothing. This hover. Like, that's a Nook, three out of three, but these aren't anything. So, I mean... Wait, is that water? Is that supposed to be water? Nook is guarding, maybe? That's water. Okay, that's water. Um, you, I only because I've played Dwarf Fortress do I understand that that's water. You, you might want to do something to indicate that that's water. So I'm just gonna leave that nook there. Oh no, I'm not. What happens if I move into it? I can't move into it. Okay. That's cool, though. Changes up the uh, texture of the dungeons. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I just walked into this nook. These poor little cat demons that are rolling around on the floor. I accidentally stepped on one. I didn't mean to. Sorry, nook. Kind of wish that I could eat teaks and nooks. A freaky beaver. Freaky dwarf beaver. What? Freaky dwarf beaver. <laughs> okay. 
let's take a look. Small rodent. It's a small vermin creature. Switching to the drawing board. <laughs> Freaky dwarf beaver. Here we go. Freaky. Dwarf beaver. <laughs> How am I recognizing creatures? What do you mean? Cause hang on, hang on a second, man. Hang on. Cause what we have to do here is draw a freaky dwarf beaver. So I can continue, but I work in seven hours. All right, Vern. You have a great night. You're going to miss the freaky dwarf beaver. <laughs> well, for one thing, we know it's got a big... Okay, this is vermin. And it's dwarven, right? So... That means it's got... There we are. And it's got tiny little peg legs. Which is how you make it dwarf. It's a dwarf beaver. And, oh, that is right. It is a dwarf, which means it trails a beard behind it. Because <laughs> a dwarf. And also, let's face it. Canadian beavers, they have, they have, like, it looks like it's got a mane. I guess it kind of does. There we go. A dwarf beaver. A freaky dwarf beaver. Okay. How do we make it freaky? It's got to be freaky. <laughs> I know how we can make it freaky. Got it. Got it. It has no eyes. Freaky hair. Yes. There we go. It's got freaky hair now. <laughs> so there we go. Freaky dwarf beaver. I am glad we've we've come to an understanding with that. <laughs> well, I'm just going to leave this freaky... What Are there actions I can do with this freaky... No, I can't interact with the freaky dwarf beaver. That makes me sad in so many ways. <laughs> Give it pupilless eyes. It's too late. It's already got the haircut and the no and the lack of eyes. All right, let's see here. I'm pretty much cleared everything out. I'm sure this is just leads. No, it just leads over there. So we have one left. Whoa, I clicked on the wrong thing. My bad, my bad. Zip over here. Those teaks. Let me check my sheet real quick. I'm doing all right. I don't know if anything's leveled up or if I level up. I've invited a D&D &D friend to chat. Sure, come on in. The more the merrier. Things are getting pretty weird in this dungeon, so... We've already had freaky dwarf beavers, rolling cats... A skeletal slug. Still... Yeah, I saw the, I saw the exit. I'm not after the exit. I'm after whatever else is on here. Oh, actually, I got a question on Trusted. Um, even though it's not not in here yet. So I've got a year to defeat a demon. How much time is there? Plan to add books and apparently fountains do it. All right. So how many, like, okay, I've got a year, 365 days to kill this demon. How many turns in a day? A spree dagger. I think 
I think I've already looked at this and it's not as good. No, it's not as good as my, uh, my fire dagger. Oh, I just walked onto a nook. It's dead now. Poor rolling cat. Teak's on fire. I'm just kicking the ass left and right here. The buffer is never going away. I'm sorry. Actually calculated this out already? Okay. I'm ready. Like, is a turn meant to be... Oh man, I'm thirsty. Um, I just realized it. Let's drink an antidote. I... You overdose? You can overdose the antidote? And it didn't raise my thirst. Uh-oh, things are not looking good. I might die of thirst down here. You have descended to a new section of the dungeon. Be careful for the monsters and the items here will be much more powerful than in the last section. It would be a shame if you died. The demon might appreciate it though. You hear a mournful whoosh. Whoosh. Ooh, what is that? That is a poison potion. Okay, demon timer. Whoa, okay, it's, uh... Damn. <laughs> Mandrobot, why did you do this? <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna... Whoa, I'm just gonna copy this. And paste it all. There we go. Alright. Demon timer. The player has 365 days to stop the demon. Each turn takes one second. What? I would have figured a minute. But a second? Yeah, Man Mandrobot's kind of, hmm. Calm down, Mandrobot. It's going to be okay. You can also overdose. I saw that. <laughs> I might be able to drink this water, though. Or, I'm sorry, this poison. There's a Kia somewhere in the snow. Okay, why am I under the potion? Like, I don't know the programming gimmick here or something, but it seems like I should be over the potion. Let's get it. There's laughter to the northwest. I just saw that. Uh, we're just going to close that door again. What are you? Uh, it was a kiosk. I didn't get to see it before I killed it. Whoops. Oh, because the interaction menu was up, I could not hit X to examine. This is an eop info. A piece of fruit. Fuck yeah. Get. And we're going to eat that. I am fucking starving. Let's examine it first. It's just a piece of fruit, but it, an apple. Apple. But it doesn't actually say what it is. Consume! That helped a little bit. Whoa. What's that? It's a ghostly sprite. A tiny ball of magical ethereal energy. Huh. I'll just leave you alone. It's chuckling incessantly. And doing a cryptic dance. Weird. There's another thing. What's this one? This is a sparkling beating heart. A large beating heart. It has numerous sparkles coming off of it. <laughs> it 
It's got two blood. It's also got three power. Let's eat it. Consume. Roll for composure. Why? You feel terrified by the idea that this heart was used in some kind of depraved cult horrific issue. You spot an Irish. <laughs> oh, they're mental attacks. That's what's affecting my misery. Alright, that makes sense. Where is this Irish? Whoa! Why am I way the fuck over here? All right, let's take a look at the Irish. Uh, Irish's info. Actually, we're in a new area, so maybe I could... Uh, let me... Put this under sketches real quick. Okay, it's a marsupial with a scarred, mute, mutated, pale, human-like face. It is a being made entirely from energy. I'm sorry, it's a being made entirely from energy! And it is a vicious creature known for attacking everything it sees and it has a large amount of fortitude about it. Well, it's... It's, uh... Not gonna hurt you know it teleported me oh that's what happened i figured something like that what do i think helps the atmosphere uh the music is definitely pretty handy with the atmosphere but the lighting engine that you have as rudimentary as it is really affects the atmosphere i think more so than the description of the weird critters kill it let's see i hit it for six points it ignites it tried to hit me, but it didn't do anything. Uh, it ignites again for six more points. And it's dead now. And no longer burning. Okay, here's a fountain. Let's drink from the fountain. Let's see here. What, what is this? 18 choices, rolling a D18. Two. You find something in the fountain. The fountain dries up. What what did I find in the fountain? A magical poison dagger. Wow, six power, six poison. I'm pretty sure that's better than my magical fire dagger. Yeah, so no matter what happens, we're we're switching to the magical poison dagger. Now it has identifying runes. This probably won't won't work, but I might as well try to identify this. Uh, nope, I don't know what this rune is, but that's okay because yeah, the magical fire dagger I'll keep in case I need to like throw it at something. Yeah, I also still have this Chaos Staff. Let me check out Ruins. I think this is from the Chaos Staff. I'm not real sure anymore. And, of course, we have to kick the fountain. Wham! Crashes down, and it formed a something. What is this next? A destroyed fountain. Okay, that makes sense. The kiosk tortures me. Is that what this is? Is this the kiosk? Raging imbued helmets info. Wait, how did the kiosk torture me for a hit point? This has happened before. I lost composure, I think. Oh, the kiosk is under the helmet. See, this is what I'm talking about, Untrusted. You, I really did not understand that there was a creature under this helmet. It's dead now, but... Like, huh. There's a raging evil helmet. Well, I don't have a helmet, so... 
And it's a raging evil helmet. Let's identify this rune. Hey, I figured it out. It's a rune of dig. Might be able to use that. I can eat it. I can eat the raging helmet. I can eat the helmet. I don't want to eat the helmet, but I mean, it's good to have the option, right? Fire resistance three. All right, right now, actually I don't have any helmets, so I think I can equip this without any problem. <laughs> it's hiding under the item. That's intended, you're supposed to hide to lure you into the hallway with treasure? Okay. Um. If that's the case, maybe a little line from hidden creatures that say you are being attacked from the southwest or something. Because as far as I could tell, it was just an invisible monster. I, I didn't actually know that was a thing. Oh, it's an engraved wooden door. I love engravings. Let's see, there's an engraving of a wolf-like creature here. It is defending something from an adventurous elf. All right. Taste all the things. Do you want me to eat the helmet? Uh, there's nothing down here. I'm going to assume that's blood, but I mean, it doesn't show up on anything, so. Cool, though. Oh, that's an engraved wooden door, too. Let's take a look at the engravings. There's an engraving of a suck here. The engraving says it's a kind of basilisk. It's depicted but surrounded by flames. You can lick the items for clues to how good it will be? <laughs> I don't know. I should probably find out, shouldn't I? Next time I find a piece of armor, I will try to eat it for you. There is laughter to the northwest. How do you heal misery? Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. What is what is this? It's a suck. It's glistening teeth in the darkness. It is a lumpy basilisk that has mouths, plural. Its skin is translucent and its pulses with a strange fiery light. And it never stops laughing. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Do I like the color shift? The color shift is good. Uh, just gonna close this door. Boy, that really sucked. Oh, it's a lock. Can I pick it? Yes, I can. Ah, this sucks. Suck has been struck down. All right. What are you? Whoa. Uh, I was just... Oh, because the fucking... <laughs> All right. This is a Kung. It is a four-skinned, flapped, long-gone, rat-like creature. Long-gone? Gonna need some... Gonna need some help with that specification. You can see the heat rising from its body, and it has a large protective shell, and its blood is copper-based, which makes it green, and it makes its home in dark, damp places of the world. It's pretty tough. Huh. I should be able to strike this down in two blows. Well, that, never mind. It's one blow. It's done. It's dead, yo. It's got green blood everywhere. So what is this? This is a poisonous spree imbued armor here. Let's get that and take a good look at it. Uh, four and two poison resistance. As opposed to the ethereal armor I have. 
which is two and three fire resistance. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, it exploded everywhere. No kidding. I hit it so hard it just went poof. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen much of uh, poisonous critters, but just by itself, it has a better physical rating. Yeah, let's switch armors. And we'll drop this. Is there a carrying limitation on Trusted, or is it just how, you know, I have a certain number of item slots that I have in my inventory to fill up? Turns out the sucks aren't no big deal. Poison fedora. It's a poison hat. It's a poison hat. Extremely rare fedora defends you from magical poisons. Is imbued with it a rune of some kind. Okay, I'm. I wear a fedora, right? So. Now, I don't know what this rune is, but it's a poison hat. Let's see, that's three fire resistance. And that's two poison resistance. But it's a poison hat, that's so cool. Oh, did I, do I like the color shift? Eh, it's fine. I do not feel really one way or the other for the color shift. I think it's necessary to determine, like, okay, this means that shit's getting serious, because I'm in a lower part of the dungeon. If there's laughter to the northwest, then let us head to the northwest and kill that thing. I've struck down the suck. Ooh. I may have some food. Are sucks sentient? I don't know. It doesn't say. Let's eat the suck. Huh. Everything's all right. Oh, this is an engraved wooden door. Need to look at that. Uh, Basilisk, it is fighting with a dwarf. And now we know the rest of the story. We don't know anything about the story. Oh, hello, marsupial friend. It is dead now. All right. Dagger of Masterwork Poison. Whoa. A four power and six poison. As opposed to my uh, poisonous magical poison dagger. Oh. Six power, six poison. Four power. Okay, it's not that good. But I might be able to throw it at something. So let's grab it anyway. A lot of doors. Is that another raid? Whoa, where did you come from? It's a Kung. And it's a dead Kung. 
It's a fire hat. Still not as good as my raging helmet. Right? Right? My helmet is pretty, pretty awesome. And it has a rune of dig. You know, I haven't used the rune of dig yet. What is that? Why is it just standing there? Oh, it's another beating heart. I should eat it. Don't, I don't know why I'm just kind of inspired to eat all of these beating hearts. What's my composure like now? Composure 75. I'm still good. Where am I? Oh, I'm way the hell over here. <laughs> all right. Uh, we should start looking for the way out. I see a couple of hallways I haven't checked yet, and I don't see the stairs down. Is there a town mechanic system? It would be a haunted town. <laughs> okay, it's a series of doors. That's a no. Whoa, hi. Scared me. Jesus. Uh, it's another piece of fruit, which I'm cool with grabbing that. Those fruits is good. All right, we'll head here next. Goodbye, my marsupial friend. Okay, am I going crazy? Did I miss the exit? Hmm. Oh, there's a doorway over here. No, I've already... Hmm. There's laughter in the northwest. Oh, that's not the northwest. There's laughter to the west now. Well, don't keep me in suspense, laughter. It's the ghostly sprite. The ghostly sprite's what's laughing. Okay, I don't think I've checked in this very corner right here. So that's where we're going to go. Nope. Um, I could just start kicking indoors. Oh, hey, there's a couple of spots over here that I just noticed. Let's see, a poison spring imbued armor. I think I already have that. Yeah, I do. I don't need another one. And I just saw the stairs that go down, so cool. Wait a second, really? It's under the armor? There's a here. Untrusted. Untrusted, explain this. What is this? There's a here. What? What is a? What is a a? <laughs> yeah, yeah, every time I step on this spot. Mournful moan ex. It's a magical term. Okay, what are you? You're an undead something. Undead Niwar Thwithu cultist. It's a walking skeleton. Class 1 undead. Uh, I wish I had the fire thing now. Stairway. The name's bugged up for some reason. Okay. 
Its dark green robe has an image of a hood with a dagger across it woven into the back of it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Whew. Let me get this. It's a dark green robe that has an image of a hood with a dagger across the hood woven into the back of the dark green robe. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this because we're, we're drawing the cultist. We are drawing a cultist. Okay. Now it's got a hood, and of course it's skeletal, right? So. It's a cultist with a robe, right? Now, here's the important part. On the back of the robe, yeah, it's skeletal. It's a skeletal cultist. I got it, I got it. Now, on the back of the robe, it has a picture of a hood with a dagger across it. And I'm guessing probably <laughs> you said you like the atmosphere. Anything I could do to be uh, to improve it, even if it's pretty good already. Gosh, I don't know, man. Hang on. I'm still getting over this picture of a hood on the back of the robe with a hood. I wonder if the hood, the picture of the hood, is actually on the back of the hood. Oh yeah, and uh, robes have those little robe tie-offs. There we go. There's there's the cultist. Uh, I need to get this name right. Commission Grimm to make the monsters and the UI. <laughs> Well, it's meant to be ASCII, so I don't think that's going to happen very much. All right, so walking skeleton, hooded figure, likely a cultist, likely a dead cultist. No, that's it. That's all there is. This is an undead... Nywar Thwithu. All right. Oof. Let's try it. Let's try this. Nywar Thwithu Cultist. And now you have some story. You have the Nywar Thwithu Cult. I wonder what's up with them. So I take it even these guys are randomly generated. Okay. Uh, there's lots of stuff you can do to improve these. I like, for example, export. I know you haven't done it yet, Untrusted. Have you considered having different music for different sections of the dungeon? Like, I know that's asking a lot, though. If you're the sole composer, then yeah. But there's one idea. Let's see how this thing stands against my poison dagger. It doesn't. It has been struck down. It's a bloody moan. There's a lot of shit going on in this dungeon that's creeping me out. What is this? 
Whoa, what is this? An undead, another cultist. Composure save? Ah, uh, pretty... Um, no, never mind. I feel horrified after seeing the living dead, which has been brought forth by horrific blood magic. More composure damage. Yes, but it, it falls down. Whoa, what is this? It's attacking me and missing. My dagger has no effect? Why not? Oh, poison resistance 100%. That's a pretty good reason. Alright. Well, fortunately, I have this magical fire dagger that I've been keeping on just such an occasion. There we go. I can see it's going to be important that I keep. There's a few cults I can choose from. There's a fire fedora. I don't need that. There's a dwarven knife of nether. That's a better fire... Well, kind of. It's a really good fire dagger. Oh, shit. My hunger and thirst is down. I'm dehydrating. Holy shit. I didn't even notice that. Thank you. My thirst is up to one. Uh-oh. Should I start trying to eat things? Like, can I eat this poison fedora? examine all of this because this is fucking brilliant untrusted and um, I take my hat off to you and then I shove that hat into my mouth after failing a suicide save So, <laughs> if that's not the best way to die, then I'll eat my hat. <laughs> uh, did I have poisons? Oh, I did. I had an antidote poison and a poison potion. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Before we go, because this, that's, <laughs> that's the end of that character. Before we go to the drawing board we had, because there is no way I am not drawing that. So, alas, the mic, he is dead. <laughs> he was wearing poison-imbued armor, which I'm sure looks really cool and stuff. And he was found dead with a fedora shoved into his mouth a poison fedora
I I just I just need to draw this. All right. No doubt a uh, no doubt a cultist will come down this hallway, a skeletal cultist, and just show up like what? The cultist is just... Did this guy eat his hat? Like, he actually ate his hat, right? And he's got probably, like, a dagger hanging from his his robe or whatever. <laughs> and this is like... Should, should we be insulted? This great adventurer just walked into our place... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that he's got a hood with a dagger crossing it, right? So, anyway. <laughs> this guy... Walked into our dungeon, defeated all of our critters, all of our critters, and then shut, took his poison hat and shoved it down his own throat, committing suicide in, let's face it, the best way to commit suicide. <laughs> all this with a mouse? No, no, I'm doing a, doing my normal sort of template thing. Anyway, this... <laughs> The true horror! The true horror! <laughs> God damn! Alright, let's save this. Throw this under sketches. I need to take a break. I think this is probably a good spot to stop this particular game. Which, alas, means that I'm probably going to stop with the drawings. But, oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh, uh, untrusted. While you're here, one last thing. It says press escape or end to hit to go back to menu, and I hit the end key. Doesn't do anything. Oh, there it does. So it does do something. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll shut the hell up then. So if I start a new character, it's going to start on turn some hundred thousand. I might, if I were you, if I were you, to help with the atmosphere, um, since time is an element, since you only have one year, I would change the turns to mean one second to one minute. That'll definitely cut down on the number of turns you have per year. But you have a whole year, and that's still a lot of minutes. But the other thing is I might add drowsiness as a status. I don't know if that's a good idea. But needing sleep definitely makes it so that suddenly things become scarier. Like I'm running out of time. Because I have to sleep, and I hate that I have to sleep. And might also open itself up to dangers like falling over from exhaustion. Just a thought. I also realize that that's a big mechanic to suddenly put into your game. So, you wouldn't have to do that. But definitely switch turns from seconds to minutes. Because, let me see, what would that be? Um, 365 days. Uh, each day is 24 hours. Each hour is 60 minutes. So that's 520... That's 525,600 minutes in a year. That's a lot better than... That, that's how many turns you have before. It's all over. As opposed to the... 31,536,000 seconds in a year. Which, if that's how many turns I need to defeat the game, there's... 
there's no ending. There's no ending at that point. That's a ridiculous number of turns. Yeah, I definitely reduce that to minutes. Cut that number by 60. And I think that'll start to really push the worry. Uh, of course, it's inevitable that when you make a game like this, you're also going to have people who are speed running the game. And by the way, your credits button doesn't do anything. Put your credits in there, man. Put your name out there. You're untrusted. You're the guy who made RLDR. Fuck yeah. I'm going to take a break. Oh man, it's midnight. I don't know. I might go to bed. How long have I been streaming? Two hours, ten minutes. <sighs> On the one hand, I wanted to play some Dwarf Fortress. I just started a new world, and I wanted to actually crash and burn, because I haven't... I'm no good with the Fortress mode. So I wanted to to burn a fortress to the ground. Loki says go to bed. Yeah, okay, I'll go to bed. I saw a uh, Rolik Novice come through. Am I working tomorrow? No, thank God. <laughs> if I were working tomorrow, I would be, like, I wouldn't stream. I wouldn't have streamed. So, yeah. Oh, you're still here? Sorry, Rolik, you came in right as I'm leaving then. Uh, sorry, you missed out. But these, uh, I'm going to take these two hours of stream and I'm going to upload them as VODs. Um, so that's a thing. Oh, you're the D&D &D guy you watch. You missed out. Uh, let me, let me link to this game, Rolik. Actually, let me link everybody to this game. What is it? It's untrusted. Untrustedlife.com, I think you said. Don't post the link, untrusted. Or if you do, put it in Discord, not in there. Because Mandra will, will completely destroy you. Untrustedlife.com, I think is what it is. Yeah, Rogue Legends Dark Realms. All right. I am going to throw that here for anybody who wants it. And about. Hey, it's Michael. Hey, I'm Michael too. What the hell? Why why is why is Michael such a common name? Downloads. Well you have Untrusted Realms. You have March 15th. Huh. Uh, you also have Roguelike Legends Original. An experimental roguelike inspired by Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. And whatever these are. Cool. Alright, so a lot of stuff on this website to look at. Uh, defiantly play some more. I will... I think... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn in. And tomorrow I am going to start playing some Dwarf Fortress. And we're going to see how far that fort can get. And I started a brand new world that's fairly large and new. It's only five years in the story. And then I'm just going to use that as a, uh, a place to just sort of throw away dwarven fortresses. And say, okay, let's see this thing just get destroyed. But for now, this is good. Let's go ahead and call this quits. Also, there's no quit button. There's no quit button. This needs a quit button. <laughs> Otherwise, I just hit this. All right. And the drawing. Well, that's also another thing that I want to do with Dwarf Fortress. Is I actually want to draw some of the crazy shit that's happening in these fortresses. Kind of like Krug Smash. I think he's cool. So, all right. Let me go ahead and say adieu to all of you. And thank you for watching and spending a little bit of your time with me. It's good fun all around, I think. And uh, Untrusted, thanks for that. Think you stream that? Sure. I got a lot of enjoyment out of, uh, out of playing that. I will probably create a new world to get more randomized critters. 
And also because drawing those critters were goddamn fun. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night.